What's up, everyone, and welcome to episode nine of Chainsaw Estates, the only show that gives you a personalized tour of my creepy collection. On the last episode, I introduced you guys to the awesome artwork of Mr. Nervous Wreck. And during that episode, I got a lot of comments and questions about this piece right here. Now, I'm really glad you guys like it because the people in my neighborhood, not so much. So this amazing piece is called Better Out Than In by artist Colin Christian. Colin Christian was a London-based artist who moved to the U.S. in the early 90s. He actually got his start by making latex fetish clothing for adult stores around the country. In the late 90s, he made the switch to full-time artist, and you've probably seen his artwork around the web. He's gone viral over and over. He has a unique style of uh, mixing cute with creepy, which makes him fit right in here at Chainsaw Estates. So I'll put the link to Colin's website in the description below. This is a huge piece, one of the biggest pieces in our collection, also one of my favorite. It was a uh, private commission that I contacted the artist for. Depending on Colin's schedule, he does shows uh, here and there, but he's usually looking for commission work. So if you're lucky enough to uh, get into his schedule, you can contact him and get a piece of your very own for your collection. Welcome to the workshop area of Chainsaw Estates. This is the portion of the house where we do all the production work on our artwork. It's also the portion of the house where we store all our tools and weaponry. Now, if you're trapped in a horror movie, my obvious choice of weaponry would be a chainsaw. But if that happens to be in a dystopian future where gasoline is uh, scarce, I give you guys the next best thing. The zombie hammer. Wildly impractical? Absolutely. Cheap and flimsy? Absolutely not. This thing will take out absolutely anything. I don't care if you're a slow walker or a rage-infected zombie. So if you've ever been laying in bed at night wondering why no one has ever put a chainsaw blade onto a knife, wonder no more. Head over to zombiehammer.com and check out the other work of these mad scientists of weaponry. Tell them Chainsaw State sent you. So that's the show for today. I hope you dug it. And thanks again for all the comments on the Colin Christian piece. If you happen to see something in the background of another episode and want us to review it, let us know and we'll put it up in the next episode. Or if you have something and you want to see it on Chainsaw Estates, let me know and I'll tell you where to send me cool free stuff. See you next time.